Hey y'all, it's your girl Kitty Cat. I'm super excited tonight because I'm going to finally wear some nails after my nail fungal infection. I got a nail fungal infection sometime in December and it didn't clear up until like end of February into March. It took several months for it to clear up. Like I couldn't wear fake nails during that time and that was really hard for me because getting my nails done like my whole life, but like when I was 18 was when I started to like, you know, go to the salon and get the acrylics every two weeks. I just always like loved having my nails done. Like it was just something I wanted to do since I was a kid. But y'all know how it is when you're a kid. My mom would be like, no, you're trying to be grown, you know? So if I would go get my nails done, I could have like a French manicure or something. When I turned 18, it was like, no, I want the nails, the clickety clack. And so I started just going to the nail shop, getting my nails done like every two weeks back then. And going to get my nails done was like one of my favorite things to do. Like walking into the nail shop always just made me feel happy. Like just, I knew it was going to be a good time. I spent so much on getting my nails done. I remember when I, the last time I was getting my nails done pre, I remember I was paying like $120 for like a full set. Cause I would get like colors and like bling and a lot of fun. And it, it cost a lot, but I didn't really care because that was my nails. And I wanted to like look feminine and look cute, you know? Then, you know, Things happened last year. I was in a point of like, okay, well, I still want to wear fake nails, but I, I don't feel comfortable, you know, going to a shop or like I couldn't even get to a shop at a certain point because of everything. I took it upon myself to start doing my own nails. I started doing press on nails and I couldn't believe like how easy it was and like everything about it for me like was a game changer. When I would go get my nails done, it was like I had to like book an appointment. I would always drive like 30 minutes to get there. And then, you know, you're there for like an hour and a half, two hours. Like if you're getting a pedicure, who knows? You know, you're there all, all day. You're there for a while. Doing press on nails was just so different. It took me like not as much time. Like it doesn't cost as much. And you can get press on nails. You can get press on nails literally anywhere. I don't know, that's the route I started taking. This is how I gave myself a nail fungal infection. Here we are in the midst of everything that's happening, right? And I started doing my own nails. I really loved it. You know, I just felt like really cool to do my own nails. Because I always went and got my nails done, there was a lot of things about nails I just didn't know because someone else always did my nails for me. So basically what happened was, was I had a nail set that like kind of was lifting a lot, like when I was doing the press-ons. And I think what was happening was it was like lifting, but not enough for it. like I needed to put glue. So I would just like leave it. The problem was, was like water when I would wash my hands, cause I'm a big hand washer, all the water would get underneath my nails. And you know, that's, that's how bacteria can grow. Beginning of December, I, I had taken off the set I had. A couple of my nails looked a little weird, but I was like, I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know if these are like bruises. I won't freak out about it but I'll, I'll do another set, you know, I'll wear my set for my usual time, which is about like two weeks. When I take them off, we'll just reassess. So I wore another set, two weeks went by, I took them off and my nails were worse. And I was like, oh, oh my gosh. I was like, oh my gosh, well, what happened? So, you know, I get to Google, Google, why are my nails looking like this? Da, 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 da. And then I realized, oh my gosh, I have a nail fungal infection. Sounds super gross. And basically when you have a nail fungal infection, you can't wear fake nails because what your nails need to do is your nails need to breathe and like get oxygen. I could not wear fake nails, which was so heartbreaking. It wasn't like that heartbreaking to me, um, you know, because I've gone periods without wearing fake nails. I've like just always, you know, done polish or something. But when you first like have the nail fungal infection bad, like how I had it, you can't wear nail polish. Like you have to wait a while before you wear nail polish. I couldn't wear nail polish. I couldn't wear fake nails. And it was kind of like, whoa, like, I don't know like why it happened but it's like everything does happen for a reason and i think it was just like i need to learn more about like nail care and like taking care of my nails if i'm going to be doing my own nails there's a lot more that goes into it than just popping the nails on i just been so excited about like finally getting to put nails on i've been meaning to do it for like a month i've just been so busy and like not even wanting to make the time to do it but now i'm ready i'm ready to finally put my nails on i wanted to share that little story with y'all just because if you're doing your own nails at home be mindful, be careful, like don't make silly mistakes like myself and get a nail fungal infection.
And also if you're going to the shops and you're noticing like stuff happening to your, your natural nails, take note of that and like proceed with caution, you know what I mean? This is like a set from Kiss. My birthday's in a couple days so I really wanted like just like some really fun like bling fun nails. I just got like these pink ones, super cute and fun and flirtatious. So I'm going to pop these nails on. I already like buffed and filed and pushed my cuticles back and this time I, I soaked them in water and then I soaked them in some olive oil. So like I'm like you know what girl we are taking the steps this time and really making this like about self care versus just like rushing through it. If you have a nail fungal infection right now, like don't be sad. Well, you can be sad, it's fine. Be sad, honestly, it's sad. And I felt bad about it because I was like, dang, I put myself in this predicament. I can't even blame it on anyone else. Like I did this to myself. You know? But this is how I got rid of it. After just accepting that all the nail plans I had were not happening, I was looking online to see like what treatments I could do at home to fix it. So I found this stuff, it's called Carousel. So basically, you know, all you do is you just like you open it, and you put this, oh, I'm like flipping you guys off, sorry. Basically, you know, you take this, you put it underneath the nail and on top of the nail, like on the nails that are like infected. I think you put it on your, your nails like every day and then eventually it goes away. I'm ready, my nails are finally like ready for nails. That don't even have to make sense. This is what they look like. Super excited. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. This one was really just like for fun and also like to bring awareness. Don't get a nail fungal infection, okay? Take care of your nails. And uh, life is too short to be anything but fabulous, baby. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.